Good evening, YouTube friends. Susie here. Thank you so much for joining me today. In today's video, we're going to I'm going to show you how to make some handmade ornaments using molds from IOD and resin. As you can see, I've got several of my molds out here, and I have got this craft resin that I ordered on Amazon. I'll be sure and link it below. This is a 24 hour curing time resin. They also make a 15 minute, but I have patience for it. So I decided to go ahead and just get the one that takes overnight. Resin is super easy to use. You just want to have gloves on. There is two parts to it. There is the actual resin and then the hardener and you mix them half and half and you stir them really well for a couple of minutes. This is the IOD Blitz Mold that we're going to be starting with. These are very thin snowflakes. They have so many amazing details in them. When you are pouring the resin in these really thin ones, you want to be sure and pour really slow so that you do not over pour. First of all, you don't want to waste your resin and over pouring will just make a big mess in the end. So just take it really slow. Don't over pour it. You can use your stick to kind of spread it out. The bobble molds are a much deeper mold, so you can pour a little bit faster, but you still want to be careful, and these are still so full of all the amazing details. I am hooked on resin. I am making tons of ornaments to sell. There are just so many different ways that you can do these. Okay, so I have poured all my molds and I have waited till the next night. And here is the most fun part. It is so cool. These just pop right out and take a look at all that detail from the bobble molds. They are so fun. These are hard as a rock. You can't break them. I just love resin. I am hooked. If you do over pour slightly, as long as it's thin enough, you can just pull it right off the sides like I did there. See, this one has just a little bit of over pour too. It comes loose so easy. And look at that. Look at that detail in these snowflakes. They are so delicate. And this is the most amazing one, this giant snowflake is so beautiful in the resin not only is the front beautiful take a look at the back so i've poured all these up and now i've turned them all out i've got lots of painting to do in today's video i'm just going to focus on three different ones and we are going to start with the bird song mold Y'all know I love these birds. I've been using the molds for a while with clay. So I wanted to do a few in resin and I wanted to make them cardinals for Christmas. And so I'm painting them this barn red, which is a Dixie Belle paint. Um, the resin takes paint super easy. It only took one coat of this red. It was a little brighter than I wanted it. So I'm just gonna rub some dark wax on it to bring out some of that feather detail and tone that red down just a little bit. And these guys turned out so beautiful. I need to definitely 
pour up some more of the birdsong molds because I only made three or four of these ornaments and I'm hoping they're gonna sell like crazy. Okay guys, now we're going to move on to the bobble molds. Y'all, these are so much fun. The options are absolutely endless to the different color combinations and everything that you can do with these. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with my wheelhouse here on these ornaments today and do just some simple white and black. So I'm gonna give each one of the molds a base coat of white. Um, this white did take two coats to cover. So once I have the two coats of the white on, I'm going to go back and just detail everything with some black. Now I do not have what they call a steady hand. I have to be super careful and then I always still seem to make a mess. The main thing you want to do here is to be sure you have a really good brush with some good, um, like thick, stiff bristles so you can be precise. I did mess up here a little bit, but it's really no problem. I can go back over and touch it up with white paint. And this was so relaxing, just adding in all the black to these ornaments. This is the kind of thing that I really enjoy doing, even though it's so time consuming. It just really um, relaxes me to be able to sit and paint these smaller items. And you can do it any way you want to, any colors you want to. Like I said, the options are endless with these bobble molds and all their different details. It is just so much fun. I highly recommend doing some of these bobble molds. After I got all the black detailing like I wanted it, I took all these outside and I sprayed them with a couple of coats of a clear sealer. And then you also can drill into this resin. I wasn't sure I could do it, so I just tried it with a very small drill bit. And you can drill a hole right into the resin and stick your string through there if you don't want to hot glue something on the back. You also can double these up back to back and make a 3D ornament. I didn't get into all that for this video, but I'm definitely going to give it a try. I love how these turned out. They're so beautiful and elegant looking on my tree. I put tons of them in the booth, so hopefully they'll sell, and I'm definitely going to make me some more for my tree also. I have saved the easiest ornament for last. This is the Blitz Mold. These are the really thin, really ornate snowflakes. I'm going to be using this antique gold rub and buff, but you could, again, use any color on this. You could take it outside. You could spray paint it a gold or some other kind of metallic, I think are just gorgeous on these. This rub and buff goes a long way, but I probably, 
it would have been more cost efficient for me to do a spray paint but i really like the way that this looked i also do recommend if you're using rub and buff to be in a ventilated area it is got a lot of smell to it and if you use it for too long it can kind of get to you but i did want to show you guys that is all there is to it i thought about doing a dark wax over it but i loved the look of it just as is so this is a one step and i want to show you guys after you paint it how it looks on the back and that is just so beautiful to me look at that so either way it goes on the tree it is gorgeous So that's all I have for you today. Thanks again for watching my video. In the next few weeks, there are going to be tons of Christmas DIYs and thrift flips. Also taking a little quick vacation and I'll kind of show you guys parts of that. So thanks so much for supporting me and my channel. Hope you'll subscribe and hit the like button on this video. And I'll see you guys again next week.